Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for showing up today. Happy Mother's Day. Um, this is going to be short and good. It's only 25 items. I did include the list in the description box below, so you can feel free to pop in and out of the auction. If you're watching other auctions at the same time, you have kind of an idea of what's coming up. But I do have my uh, trusty timer here. So it's going to be quick. We're going to give every item two minutes for first bid. And if nobody bids, we're moving on. And um, I did price everything really fairly. Um, but it's don't worry if you don't bid on it. If it's a pass, I will be putting it up in my shop. And when I put it up in the shop, it's going to be a little bit more money. So just be aware of that. And oh, I will be happy to help out as soon as we have our mom's <laughs> dinner. Okay, I will. I'm going to make you a mod now, Sammy Joe. Um, replace pin report. Remove hide. Add mod. All right, you are now a mod. So don't be crazy. <laughs> no, I love you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's fantastic. So it's going to be a little bit different today because it's only 25 items. We are just doing $5 bid increments. And like I said, if nobody bids, that's just fine. It is actually a chance because I started everything pretty reasonably and everything is really nice. Like I chose nice, classy, kind of tasteful things, you know, in the spirit of Mother's Day. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Barb. Hey, Barb's here. Um, so, and I just got an order like one minute ago. So if you're here, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, just a couple of the rules. So the free shipping is triggered at $45. Um, unless you're out of the country or it's really super heavy, in which case we'll just split it um, or I'll take the first $10 off. So sometimes people end up paying like $5 for shipping or something like that, unless it's going way into uh, Europe. You know, um, I think so far the most expensive shipping I had was Australia and Germany, and those uh, topped off at $25. Um, and uh, except for Canada, but that was a lot of insurance. So anyway, I'm babbling, but hi, JPTR, look. <laughs> Today's mug. <laughs> um, so $45 free shipping. The giveaway announcement. So we have passed May 5th. So the giveaway announcement is coming up um, next week. I'm going to be doing just a short video on that. And if you haven't seen a giveaway video, I will put the link to it right up here. And you can watch that. It's only about a minute and a half. And you can still enter. Um, it's uh, It turned out that we didn't reach 10,000. So only, I think it's two people are getting the uh, $50 gift certificate. But you can still enter for that. You can still subscribe and still be entered. And if you're new and you'd like to bid, then you need to email me now. I have my phone screen set up. I will be able to see it. Just put your YouTube name and your email in the subject and I'll see you right there and you'll be able to bid. And I now have installments on the website. You can pay in um, installments or you can pay in full and it's through a firm. And I did so much research on installment plans. And if you use like the anthropology one uses, I think after pay and um, there's another one. Oh, Klarna. And both of those have huge late fees and hidden fees. And the thing that I loved so much about a firm is that it's already being used by a million places, a million small retailers and places like Target and things like that. And oh, just email me, Pamela. Email HudsonVintage at me.com. Thank you for asking. HudsonVintage at me.com. And just put in the subject, not in the body of the email, put in the subject, your YouTube name and your email, and that'll work. And um, so anyway, I'm really excited about the installments because it's actually a way for me to offer you a discount because you do not pay at all. There are no hidden fees for the installments on the website. There's no late fees. There's no nothing. I pay that. And the, the you know, it's like an extra merchant fee, I guess. And it's, 6%. It's not inexpensive, but I think it's really great, you know, and it's a way for everyone to kind of maybe think about getting something that maybe they thought they couldn't get before. So, um, you know, I like to be inclusive, right? Which is part of the reason why I do the auctions, because it's a way for everybody to participate. Um, I think today's auction, the starting 
uh, bid is like 25 or $30. So I think it's $30. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, hit the like button. Thank you. Oh, perfect, Pamela. I got it. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're in. Um, so what else? I talked about that. Oh my God. All right. So if there's nothing in the auction today, we have a huge community of people that collect and sell and people that sell and collect, if that makes any sense. So we are using the hashtag get what you really wanted and the hashtag Hudson Vintage. And everyone in the community has put Mother's Day special things. Um, they've highlighted those things in their shops with get what you really wanted and Hudson Vintage. So if you're still looking for something, um, <laughs> yeah. It's true. Love and imagination. Ah. So um, I just got a little message that says, try not to don't don't um, message me email because it'll screw me up. Just do that if you're if you're new here and I need to see you to be able to bid. But um, but thank you. Yes. Imagination. Love is all you need. And imagination can still save the world. That's what that text said. So um, where was I? See, I'm throwing off now. Uh, oh, yeah. So everyone highlighted special Mother's Day things with these hashtags. So check the hashtags, use hashtag get what you really wanted and hashtag Hudson Vintage to see what they put in their shops for Mother's Day or what they have on sale for Mother's Day. And they're all um, not just shopkeepers, they're collectors. So it's gonna be really good stuff, I, I promise you. Um, now, let's see, I chose nice things. I said that they're classy things. Oh, there's two door prizes. There's two door prizes, one in the middle, one at the end. It's only 25 pieces and we're gonna keep it moving, um, which is part of the reason why we're doing $5 increments and we're doing this. Um, but look at these door prizes. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I think I do need a mod. Um, let me, are you offering Elizabeth K? Look at this. These are the door prizes. This is carved leaves. This is old. And this is kind of like in a 1980s torsade, but they're really lovely. And I'm giving those away. Um, and it's all on me. The shipping is free. Um, I'm going to, Elizabeth K, I'm going to make you a yes. You can help until, okay, you are becoming a mod right now. Adding moderator. All right. Um, yep, gotcha, 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 Dino Horse. All right. So that's the preview for the door prizes. Now there's also the description underneath this video in the description box that has a list, like I said before. And then here's a preview of the things. And we're gonna have some fun. We're not gonna take all day doing this. We are just gonna have a fun, quick get together. And the first piece, oh, I think I do need a stand for this. Want to participate? Gotcha, gotcha, Adele. I have my, this, I think we're gonna need that. So. All right, um, first piece. First piece is this, is everybody ready? Everything's good? Everyone's here? Did you get me? I got uh, Kathy, Kathy, I'm not sure. Try again, HudsonVintageAtMe.com. Simone, hi, so great to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you for the compliment. I wanted to dress up for Mother's Day. Um, hi, okay, everything's good. So the first piece, just to get started, is this beautiful cross bracelet. This is CZ. I actually had to test it for diamond because I have a diamond. Um, this is called, they called it a bolo when I sold them in Macy's. Look at the end. This is beginning at $30. See, there's little CZs there. This is rose gold over sterling. First bid is 30. So you have two minutes to make the first bid. There we go. Um, and the thing that I that fooled me was I actually bought with my employee discount when I was at Macy's, I bought one um, that was diamonds. It was called Diamonds Wrapped in Love. And it was very similar to this. 
and they were like 800 and then they were on sale and I ended up paying 300 with my employee discount. But the thing that I love about these is that they stay tight. I like to wear bracelets tight. Um, because I'm always working on the computer and everything. But isn't that pretty? That's 30 bucks. That's sterling, um, rose gold over sterling. It is signed in the bead here. And the CZs are nice and they're bezel set. set. Bezel set. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, the timer is going to be great. It's, you know, we're going to keep things moving. $5 bids, $5 bid increments, two minutes for the first bid. Um, on this. And if no one's interested, we're just going to move right on. And once I, once again, don't be, um, don't worry if nobody bids because we're just here to have some fun. Look, and then there's the back. It's really well made. That's the rose gold over sterling. And I don't know if I can get the, the, um, the designer in the 925 in there. I will try. Yeah, it's not coming out, but it's on that bead. And, oh, the mosaic ring, I know, isn't that fantastic? This was in my ring video, um, which I will link up here if anyone's interested. That was fun. I did that video while I had, while I was recovering from oral surgery. So it was one of those camera down videos, but before I knew what camera down was. So it's me just, oh no, it's not. I think I did, actually, that's just a regular video, the ring video. Um, so we are letting it run out. Two minutes done. Okay, no bids. Moving on. We have the Juliana, uh, this is great. This is really, this is a nice one. Oh, I should show you, here's a preview of some of the uh, other necklaces coming up. I might as well show you. These are my favorites. This is a Sajan, this is really rare. And this is Judith Jack, uh, which is a bigger one. There's a, they did two versions of that. So there's, that's the bigger one and the smaller one. So we'll put that there. And this is the Juliana and we're gonna, Start it now. See if anybody bids. It's a really pretty one. The It's in near mint condition. Here, I'll show you the back. There you go. And hey. <laughs> okay, you're in. You took the time to... You took the time to email Kelly. So if you'd like to bid, you can bid, um, but you have to do it through the chat box so everyone can see it. So if you're not signed in on YouTube, I don't know how that's going to, you know, I don't think you'll be able to, but look, isn't that pretty? Yep. Barb's at 35. No, everything is not starting at 30. I actually have in the description box below um, the entire list. So you can uh, copy and paste that if you're good at doing that kind of thing. Um, so this is um, 35. Yeah, Barb, okay, yeah, Barb, Barb read it. Barb is at 35, there you go. And so pretty, and so we don't, this doesn't count anymore because we have the first bid. Um, it's a really nice one. It is really well and truly, hmm, I need a higher stand. I wonder if this will work. If you saw, my table here <laughs> to, to make sure I had everything I needed and within arm's reach. That's the trick. Not only does it have to be everything you need ahead of time that you think of, but it has to be in arm's reach as well. So look how nice. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get a better Hey, oh my God, Susan's in the house. Susan, we're, I've been thinking about you. We have to do a favorites video like I did with Carla from Princess Casserole the other day. You're, you know, obviously you're in front of the camera all the time. You're really good at it. So there you go. And the back. Yes, it's always $5 bid increments today. We're just going with $5. It's it's easier for me. It's faster. Everything is worth it. It keeps it moving. It's less boring. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful thing here. Let me let me hold it up so you can see it for scale. Up, oh, Barb's out. Okay, so we are going to call this Martha. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Kelly, this isn't going to work. I'm sorry because you can't, I have to accept bids only through the chat, but we'll get it worked out by next time. And you know what? Well, um, if nobody bids, you'll have second, second dibs. You'll have first dibs on, um, on what doesn't, uh, go today. Okay, Kelly. Um, so Martha and Lizzie, how is every Lizzie? So it's already past Mother's Day over there, right? Um, and then this, the, where are we now? Oh, the Panther link pin and link earrings. Okay, get ready. You guys are going to like this one. This is, this came from the stylist estate, that incredible stylist estate. Um, and they kind of match, like, I know she put them together this way, but they're not a set. Look. Oh, here. Okay. So this is mint 1980s. And it has the pave crystals. And it's like a jaguar or a panther. Um, yeah, you can't really see it on the lace here. I'll do this. No. Oh, I know. Do um on the vault well, here. I'll show you the back first. Sold to Martha. Thank you, Elizabeth. Look, there that is. And the first bid on this is what is it? It is 60, and it comes with the earrings that the stylist put it with. This is so great. Really, look at these. These you could sell in your store for 75. These are mint condition, Panther link um, with crystals. I thought they were St. John or something. Watch, I'm gonna find the St. John now. That would be funny. I thought I really looked because they were in with all of that St. John. Now I still don't see, I'm still, whatever. I don't know. I thought I looked, I didn't see anything on it. I thought it might be Christian Dior. I thought it might be St. John. Um, there was a lot of Dior and St. John in that. Look, aren't these awesome? These are so nice. And it's, you get it? This is how she did it. See how the crystals kind of go really well together? And it's the panther link and the panther, right? So fantastic. Do we have any bids so far? Starting at 60, where we got the clock going. Let me put this. Oh, my email is hudsonvintage at me.com. Oh, Kathy, you're in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're good. You're, you've already emailed, right? Yeah. If you haven't emailed, emailed. So I'll be able to get in touch with you. Hey, Marco's in the house. So, um, yep. Still have a few seconds on this. Oh, Hey, Kelly, Kelly's Kelly is in for 60. She knows a good deal. Kelly is one of the people that I admire so much. You know, you should see her collection. We're going to start doing that guest video that I did with Princess Casserole the other day. We're going to be doing that, I think. I want to do it with Susan, Susan Jones, if you're still here. Um, look. That great. And then it also is with, oh, so this doesn't count anymore because we have 60. Um, we'll see if anybody else wants to bid. We'll give it a minute, but I'm going to show you these earrings on the holders. Kelly, you know, you're amazing. It's, there's like, there's, it's, I love that we have found each other. You know, there's a few people, not a few people, there's a lot of us, but um, like your collection is just so good. Look, that, and then I will put it on here. You were told you had enough Panthers. Hmm. There's a story there. <laughs> There's definitely a story there. Here, hold it up. There, now you can really see. Mint condition from the stylist estate. I know you guys are going to get them and know what they are. You're going to be like, no, that's St. John. No, that's whatever. There you go. Or Kelly's going to get it at this point. Anybody else? We're going to call it. Oh, I forgot the bell. Oh, yeah. Start calling. Um, yeah. Going, going once, going twice. Oh, the G1. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. 
Um, and let's see, go in twice. And we're going to say Kelly. Kelly B. And sold. <laughs> What's FW? I don't know what FW is. Isn't that funny? Sold. Congrats, Kelly. Okay. And then the next thing is, oh, the mother of Pearl and Sterling. Wait, wait let me just put these. I, I need to protect them from each other. So I'm going to slip them in a plastic bag. I know. I love the bell too. Yay, Kelly. Kelly, you're going to be so happy. Yep. Everyone's getting, everyone I think is going to get bargains today because it is, oh, I, I called it sold, Elizabeth. I called it sold. I like the fair warning thing though. I think that's pretty cool. Um, are you auctioning the stackable Lucite rings today? Hi, Adele. No, I'm not. I actually, those will not make it to auction. Those are definitely website items. Um, they are signed artist pieces. Those came from um, the collection that I cannot tell you who they came from. And I have them actually, I have all three on hold right now um, from an important collector, but I think she's only going to pick two. So I will, you know, Keep you posted on that. I will email you. Actually, make sure I have your email in the website, um, the customer contact, and I'll email you when I know what's available. So that is Kelly. You recognize the brush? I know. Isn't it just unbelievable? So amazing. So amazing. Okay, sterling silver mother of pearl ring. This is cute. It's a nice, fun, fun little ring. If you need a little fun summer ring, starting at $25, here it is right here. It's a nice size, actually. I shouldn't say little. It's a nice size. There she is. The mother of pearl isn't showing up very well under these lights, but it's nice. This actually reminds me, believe it or not, of my... Um, Oh, Marzana, what is that? I haven't seen it. Oh, that's why. Okay. Um, let me take a look what that says. Hmm. Yeah, thanks, Marzana, for doing that. Okay, so here we go. I wish you could see it better because it's actually really nice. And what size is it? The brooch, I know, I'm wearing the brooch. The white rose, isn't that beautiful? Um, it is a size, I'm showing it to you like you can see it, that's funny. Uh, it is a size six and a half, perfect size six and a half. And uh, let's, here, I'll take this one off so you can see it. I love this. I feel like I'll have that forever. <laughs> there you go. Isn't it great? Sterling. So nice. And starting at 25. Oh, I never did this. Okay. So we're going to let that get halfway through. And then if no one wants it, we're moving on. I'm already breaking my own rules. Pretty little thing. Oh, so what I wanted to say was this reminded me of my... Carl Friedensburg, the big one that I wear. Um, oh, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. So nice to see you. Thank you, everyone, for showing up today for Mother's Day. That is fantastic of you to be here. I hope it's fun. Um, it's not going to be all day. We're not going to take too much of your time. Um, so that is right now $25. And here, I'll show you the back. And it is signed. Um, it is illegible, the hallmark, but it is signed by someone. So I'm thinking Native American uh, or Mexican. I don't think it's Mexican. I think it's Native American. Anyway, it really reminds me of my Carl Friedensburg ring that I've been wearing lately, the amber one. Um, Kelly, you're in. You are in. Unless, yes, I'm going to count you in. Thank you very much for doing that and saying that. Obviously, um, yet you you are a good person and you get to be in. Um, but if for some reason I don't have your email, just make sure I have it later on if you bid. Um, please take lots of time. You're cute. Yeah, I know. It's late for you, though. So anyway, 25? Anybody else going once? We can start calling it. 
Yeah, the amber ring. I know I love it so much too. Um, hi. Yes, we got you. And, and yes, and I, yes, I know you from before. Excellent. Happy Mother's Day, Deborah. Um, okay. So if you can see the chat, Deborah, you can bid. So try doing that. Um, we have Elizabeth just called going once um, to Lisa. And let me get that here. Hi, Susan. This is your first auction. Susan Costa, make sure I have your email. Um, so email me right now, HudsonVintage at me.com with your YouTube name, Susan Costa, and your email. And that way you'll be able to bid. You'll be able to bid if you would like to. <laughs> and Lisa, so great that you're here. Thank you. Um, so we're going to call it. We're gonna call it sold. Keep it moving, sold to Lisa. And coming up next is the Dragon's Breath Bracelet. Okay, the Dragon's Breath Bracelet is very interesting. It's the nice Dragon's Breath. It's the one that's like, yay, Lisa, you got it. It's the nice Dragon's Breath. It's the one that's like that lavender color. And I was having such a hard time. Um, it's old, right? And it's on these, look at it. <laughs> Do you believe that? This is so, this is such a good one here. I'm going to put it on this, but I want to show you the chains first. So it's these old chains, but with these jump rings. So I'm like, was this a craft project? What is going on with this? And then someone in my Facebook group um, posted, did a necklace that she had that was almost identical with one dragon's breath and it was on the clasp it was marked Germany so um or West Germany so pre-World War II and it was the same construction the same kind of chain with the same jump rings this one is just in such incredibly actually fresh condi condition the stones that I thought it wasn't that old but so mystery solved and look I mean I don't know if I would keep this intact. Oh, and I think also she said that it was testing as sterling, but I don't know if I believe that. I couldn't get it to test as sterling. Um, look at that color. There, look at that. That is that pink lavender dragon's breath. So what I would do is maybe turn this into individual pendants. Like if there's three women in the family or something, because they go all the way around, you could easily do that. So nice. There. It's that juicy dragon's breath. It's almost like um, sapphire. You know, it, it has like a blue glow, which I don't know if the camera can really pick up. Um, so we have 45 from JPGR from Angela. I'm going to put it on here. And hi, Deborah. Yeah, thank you, Deborah. Awesome. Yep, everything's good. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. I really, I, you know, you guys are, thank you everyone for, for being here today. And it's going to be fun. There's a few things I think that are going to be fun kind of things. Oh, it's a shorty. It's only like six and a half, I think. Let me here, I'll do it like this. La, la, la. So pretty, this one. There we are. Now you can see the height. Okay, that's not working. There we go. Oh, I skipped four. I did. Oh my God, you're right, <laughs> Barb. <laughs> okay, Barb, yes, that makes sense. Thank you very much. I will do that next. Um, here we go. So anyone else going once, $45 for the Dragon's Breath, the pink lavender Dragon's Breath, beautiful bracelet. And I will measure it right now. And it is... Uh, Oh, the dragon's breath stones are almost a full inch, just so you know. That's nice. 
and it's a little bit more than six and a half. Charlotte Kelly, gotcha. You're in. You're in. We are connected. Uh, Jane, we are connected. Jane with a Y. Going once. We got going twice. And two JPGR. Oh, Jane's in at 50. All right. Me. Six and a half, I said. It is six and a half. Um, oop. Yeah, I mean, I believe that these stones are worth even more than what the bid is now, to be honest with you. Um, I Look at that dragon's breath. Look, oh, I'm finally getting it in the camera. Look at it. It's glowing violet. It glows ultra violet. And they are in like new condition. Like I did not know they were that old until I saw the post in the Facebook page and look how high they are. Carla, Carla's in the house. Carla's in the house. Um, Carla, I took your advice today and I asked for mods. So thank you. Yeah, this is exquisite. And also, um, uh, she did say that it was marked that her necklace was marked Germany. I didn't see any markings on this one. Um, but that's some nice old ultraviolet glow dragon's breath. It's that, you know, that it's that dragon's breath. It's not like the purple red. It's the one that's like violet, orange, pink, if that makes any sense. So Jane is in at 60, Jane with a Y, and um, we'll say going once. Elizabeth, you're, you're great. Thank you so much. How freaking awesome are you to be doing that? So going to Jane. Welcome, Jane. New to, new to bidding. I don't know if you're new to the videos or to the community, but new to bidding. Bidding. So thank you, and you are going to love that. We are going twice, sold to Jane. <laughs> I love that, it just cracks me up. Um, okay, and now we're gonna go back to number four, the Panther. The Panther Link Necklace, get ready. You guys are gonna love this one. I can't believe I forgot it. It must have been like Freudian or something. I have sold these for a lot of money in my store. This is that. Look at it. This is the Panther Link. Woohoo. There it is there. Again, mint condition. Livia, gotcha. You are in. You can now bid. Livia can bid. Um, it has the fold over. But there's the back mint condition and it's that like mill grain that makes it flat oh no it's a rope I'm sorry it's that rope detail that makes it flat I think um this might have been signer or something like that look at it it's so great and I'm throwing in here I'll put it on this I'm throwing in the earrings that you are absolutely going to love See, it lays flat. It's that circular, perfect circle thing that they do. And you guys haven't even seen the earrings yet. <laughs> You're at 75. Okay, let me show you the earrings. You're going to love these. You ready? That's one of them. That's the back. There's a left and a right. These are mint condition. This is, again... I'm sure this is how she wore them. Not signed. So perfect. Look, look, they're so fabulous. I'm going to put it right over my hoop. See, it's not really up because my hoop is in the way, but you get the idea. I want to show you how the clip works so you can see where the clip is. These are really, really nice. These are forever. The necklace is forever. Yeah. Cute, so cute. Yeah, and then I'm gonna show you the necklace one more time. Um, try and get it a little closer. 
There we are. See the rope detail? This woman has the most incredible dandy. <laughs> all right, you are in. Oh, Susan, good, you're in. Susan Costa, you are in. I think you are already in, but thank you very much for making sure we are connected. Now I can email you if you win something. Um, there's the back. And then I'm gonna show you, oh, there's the underside. Oh, you know what I thought this was? Actually, when I first saw it, believe it or not, I thought it was Valentino. Um, I was looking for that V everywhere because because I had something like this that was Valentino with the same kind of construction. It's something good. It really is. I'm sure that when it was with the earrings, the earrings were marked. Also, Kristen Dior did this. So recognizable as Kristen Dior, um, but unmarked to my knowledge. Julie, Julie, you are in. Thank you very much. Perfect. Great way, great communication. You may now bid. Um, yeah, this is great. And I'm gonna show the earrings again. Do you guys know what this is? You don't have to tell us. <laughs> Never mind, I shouldn't ask. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know, you know, I've learned a lot, but I still miss things. And I'm gonna put this right over the hoop. Well, that's dangerous, I'm gonna hurt myself. But anyway, look at the scale of those things. So great. And again, like new, oh, I'll put them on the, um, I'll put them on the thing that I had for that. And all right, so we're gonna say going once for Barb. And See, now you can really see. Oh, I should put them, I should put them the other way. So you can see, can I do that? I'm so confused, I'm confusing myself. Okay, there we are, like that. Ta-da! <laughs> Aren't they the best? This is such a nice set, you're gonna love it. If you think you're gonna sell it, you're not gonna sell it, I'll tell you right now. And go in twice, and I think it is sold to Barb. Congratulations, Barb. Let's put it in the Barb bag. Andrea, sold. Yay, Barb. You're gonna, oh, Barb. Yep, you're gonna love this. You are really gonna love this one. I guarantee it. I know you will. Um, and now, so we did the dragon's breath. So we're going to the, okay, the CZ Sterling Scattering. I know you guys are gonna recognize this one. I was getting a lot of inquiries on it. Um, and so I decided to, I mean, with my research, these rings go for hundreds of dollars and I was getting a lot of inquiries and I thought it would be fun to just put it in the auction, give everybody a chance. I'm starting it at 85. It's Sterling. It's not the one, Barb, um, the name that you sent me because it's um, made in Italy. That um, that woman's name that you sent me was um, made in China. But this is uh, 925 Italy, and it's a CZ scatter ring. And it is so nice. This is a hard, hard one. This was a hard one. I felt like if I didn't sell it, I was never going to sell it. You know, like it was one of those, like if I got too attached to it, good luck getting it from me. Oh, this ring I inherited from my mom. I'm wearing it in honor of Mother's Day. She wore this a lot. I think she got it on QVC. It's a garnet and diamond. And so I'm wearing that today in memory of my mom. There it is just by itself. Yeah. Andrea, okay, got it. Got your registration info. I can see it right now. Thank you. You can bid. Look how amazing. Multitasking. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're smooth. Cleaning silver, <laughs> watching two auctions, and testing stones while simul simul simultaneously living your best life on Mother's Day. <laughs> Angela, you win. <laughs> you are winning at life. Oh, I did not say the size. I should say the size. It is... 
a size seven and a half. It's a big one. Size seven and a half. So there, it fits on that. Look at it. This is gorgeous. This is exceptionally gorgeous. And once again, if nobody bids, that's okay. I will put it on the website. I just wanted to give everybody a chance. When things make it to the website, they are going to get more expensive just because of the fees and everything. Um, it's a seven and a half, actually. It's a little bit bigger than a seven. I think it's because it's wider. Um, but it fits me the way an average seven fits his finger. I'm pretty sure maybe a tiny bit. Janet, hi. Okay, Janet, um, just email HudsonVintageAtMe.com and put in the subject matter, you're in the subject line, um, your YouTube name, Janet Bagley, and your email, and you will be able to bid because I will be able to contact you afterwards. Oh yeah, hit the like button, guys. Thank you. There's 82 of us right now and 38 thumbs up. So please do hit the thumb up if you can. Um, isn't that nice? Um, hmm. Sandra is in at 55, which is fantastic. I think Sandra actually, you did contact me about this. So good for you. I'm so glad you're here to bid on it. That's fantastic. It's amazing. CZ baguettes. If you Google CZ scatter ring, sterling, um, you're going to see things that are hundreds of dollars. Let me show you the back. I haven't even done that. Look how nice this is. There you go. This is made in Italy. This is not China. It's fully hallmarked with the maker's initials, Italy and 925. It's like butter. I actually had to, <laughs> I, <laughs> hi. Oh, avid reader. I love your name. Um, if you'd like to bid, then email HudsonVintageAtMe.com and put in the subject line your YouTube name, Avid Reader, and your actual email. So that way I can contact you. At, if you win something, then you can bid. Um, so I think we're going to say going once to, oh, Gail's at 90. Maybe Gail Googled it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show it to you on the black again. There. There. This is under no special light. This is my window light. It's really, you should see it in, you know, like um, the boutique lighting, you know, the, the lighting that I have, you know, or, or restaurant light or whatever, candlelight. It's really nice. So good. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are liking this. I'm glad you're getting it because it's another one that if I didn't sell it fast, I would want to keep. Look how beautiful that is. No, you can't find anything like it online. Oh, yeah, CZ, it's called, okay, Google Diamond Scatter Ring. And you'll see, because they also set diamonds in silver, and you'll see it that way. Um, definitely Diamond Scatter Ring. Isn't it gorgeous? It's gorgeous. And look how flat it is. Veruca Salt's in the house. Janet, gotcha. You can bid. Look, look how flat. Here, wait. That is not the way to show how flat it is. There you go. Ta-da. It's exceptionally made. It's super comfortable. It does not catch. Like, it's a really nice, it's not cheap. It's something you want to keep. These are all keepers. Every single thing that I have here today. I chose them specifically for Mother's Day. They're all on the classy side. There's nothing too kooky. Um, see here, I'll rub my lace over it. See that? It's so good. It's all, all the little prongs have balls on them. It's super flat. It's Italian. There it is in the back. Super smooth. Okay. So where are we? I think it's Gail. I think Gail's in at a hundred. Um, yeah. So you want to say going once? I'll, I'll put my other rings on. Oh, Marzana's in at 105. Oh, yeah. That makes sense, actually. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Marzana. Um, here, I'm going to show it next to another ring. <laughs> it's just fabulous. Oh, it's really fabulous. It is. Yeah, I know. And I tested it. It's not diamonds. I, I had to test it because 
you know, like it's, they were, they could have been diamonds. Like that's how nice this is. And they do put diamonds in silver, but, um, but they are not diamonds. There's the back. There's the profile. Look at that profile. Look at the sparkle. All right. I'm going to have a sip. All you guys discuss and think about the next thing. Okay. Yeah. The next thing's nice too. We are at 115. For Marzena, take this off. Woohoo! So pretty. I don't want to look at it too much. <laughs> See, and that's my mom's ring. That's how it looks with kind of a more cocktail ring. It's flat. It goes with everything. So nice. It is. It's oh, my mom's ring. Thank you. Yeah, I inherited it. She wore it a lot. I'm pretty sure she got it on QVC. It's a big garnet, you know, um, and it's Mother's Day. So I wanted to wear my mom's ring. Um, okay, so Marzena. Sold to Marzena. Yay, Marzena. One last look for you. Look at that. Look. Get excited. It's even better in person. That I can guarantee you, it is better in person. Um, so, Marzena. And, get a bag. And, thank you, Julie. Yeah, my this was, I think, I'm pretty sure this was in the ring video I did. Um, if you want to see my ring collection, it's one of the edit videos that I do. Um, so, and that's an older one. And I think it's just called my rings or something like that. So coming up is the Plique du Jour earrings circa 1970. These I didn't get to in the last auction because, um, the bidding went so long, but I want you to look at the light through them. These are wonderful Plique du Jour in perfect condition. There's the side. There's the back. The back is enameled as well. Oh, I wonder if you can see the light through them. Yeah, look at that. These are lovely, lovely plique azure earrings. The coloring is great. That stained glass kind of green leaf. Um, I'm going to put them on the clear thing. And Kelly is in for 45. Jane, we, oh, Jane, we're doing $5 increments today just to keep it moving. So, cause there's not a lot of pieces. They're all worth it. Kelly's in at 50. And, you know, just keeps things going faster. Yeah, there it is in the light. You can really see it. Nice size, nice, nice size. I'm gonna get this on so I can really show you the back too. And thanks, Christina. There, look, look, wish, look, look, you can really see the light now. See, it's the clouds going by. Sometimes there's more light in the room. Sometimes there's less, look. It's like a stained glass window and it's a beautiful floral. And then there's enameled green leaves and there's the blue enameling in the back. And this is old, I wanna say um, circa 1970, just because of the height of the dome, I feel like that's very 70s, but it might be older than that. Um, here, I'll do it over here. These are exquisite. These are real collectory, real collector's things. Again, if you are getting this to resell, forget it. It's not, look at it. Look at that design. Look at the, look at how beautiful and watery that plique du jour is. You see that pink? It's nice. I'll show you the other one. Look at it. 
It's like water ruby. So beautiful. So beautiful. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, and then we have after this, the Cocopella earrings, which also almost made it into the last auction, which I polished. You'll be happy to know. The I have a vintage ultrasonic cleaner that I use with only safe organic detergent, a few drops of it. Um, it does look like a Tiffany lamp. That's Plique Jour. Plique Jour is magnificent. It's, um, you know, they used it a lot in the Art Nouveau era in France, but it's originally, I believe, Chinese. <sighs> yeah, the egg, that makes sense. Yeah. Kelly is in for 75. And I'll give you a sneak peek while that's happening. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of these guys again since I've cleaned them. <laughs> they look better. <laughs> they really look better. Uh, I can't get, I can't do this. This is, why do I always try and make it so hard on myself? Okay, I'm going to put these down for a second and show this is what's coming up. These cuties, there you go. The Coco Pellies, fully hallmarked. All right, those are next. And then these are for pierced ears. I don't know if I said that here. Look at the light again. A magnificent, so beautiful. Okay, we already have Kelly B is at 80, Kelly Wilson. Um, I know there's a joke there. If only I was quick. Susan, where are you when I need you? There's a joke like about the Kellys, <laughs> you know, Kelly on Kelly or something. I don't know. Um, I know you're watching Susan and you're shouting at the screen right now. <laughs> um, anyway, beautiful. So Kelly Wilson is out. So let's call it Kelly B for $80. Think the cheer song. Oh, where everybody knows your name. Oh, sorry, I'm not gonna sing. When I had the shop, I used to sing along to the radio. Oh, sold. Let's do sold. Sold to Kelly. I used to sing along to my playlists. And if you guys are interested in my playlists, you can still find them um, on Spotify. But I used to sing along and not know it. I had no idea I was doing it, and there would be people in the store. And then I'd be like, oops, sorry. <laughs> congrats. Yes, congrats. Um, these again, these are wonderful. Kelly B. Let's see. I think you have something started already. So I will put that there. And now, Coco Pelli. Look how great. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the bell. <laughs> uh, okay, so they have fresh sterling clutches. Oh, there's a hallmark while we're there. There you go. And it's been a while. Let's see what it says. I think it says, I'm sure it says, yeah, Mexico 925. Gorgeous weight on these. These are heavy. These are these are not flimsy by any means. These are really nice quality earrings. And Look here, there's the back of them. And there they are for scale. And I wanna show them to you from the side so you can see how nice they are. See that? Kind of, you can see, you know, they're that good chunky, that good chunky Mexican sterling. Oh, I'm going to do this. See if we have any bids, keep it moving. Um, where is the ring holder? Oh, here it is. And Hudson Midget has such a lag in the kitchen. Oh, hi. That's great. Elizabeth, we have so this. I don't know if you, I'm sure you guys know each other. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for showing up and moderating today. That was really awesome for you to do that. Elizabeth K., you are fantastic at it as well. And um, Polly, 
You are brilliant. The smartest people are in this group. I don't know if you guys know that. I don't know if you realize how great this group is all together. We are powerful together. Um, look. Isn't that great? These are great. These are starting at 45. The little Coco Pelli, made in Mexico. Thick. We heart Polly. There's the back. <laughs> Yay. And we're friends. We're all friends. As Carla was saying, at Princess Casserole, you know, we're a pretty good group. And we share our knowledge. And we're going to give it just a few more seconds to see if we have a bid at 45 for the Coco Pele Beautiful Heavy Sterling. I think they're fun. I like them a lot. <laughs> and, um, okay. And then next, after these... The RLMs. Okay, so I'm going to take these off. And these are past. And so if anybody wants second chance, email me before I get them online. The next ones you guys are going to love. These I bought for myself a very long time ago. They are now vintage, but I bought them when they were new. These are RLM. These are sterling. There's a left and a right. Oh, yeah. Marzana, she doesn't, she read the description. The first, oh no, these are, okay, so you have 45 Marzana for the Coco Pelli. Marzana, you just get it. First bid gets it. That's a, that's from me to you. Um, these, just say, are you sure, just, is this what you think? Right? Not the RLM, right? These are 45 to Marzana. First bid gets it. If you want them, just let me know. Just say yes. And right now we are on these. And I wanted to show, these actually start at 75. These are the RLM spiral. See how there's a left and a right? Look at that. You see the curve where the post is? It doesn't just go straight down. These are exquisite. Yes, Marzena. Okay. Yep, you got them. And then look at this. Marzena is smart too. Look. Look, you could die from how great these are. And they're big. And they're vintage RLM sterling. I'm going to put them on the, um, oh, wait, let me just write Marzena for the Coco Pele. Marzena, 45, Coco Pele. And we're going to put that there. Okay, now. I'm going to get these on the, on the display. Oh, these are so nice. These, you're welcome, Marzena. Enjoy them. These, oh my God. Do you know how long I've had these and just never worn them, never worn them. And again, like didn't sell them, thought about selling them, didn't sell them, almost sold them. I think part of the reason they didn't make it into the last auction was because I was like, oh good. You know, I want to, I want to keep them. They're, they're still mine, but I have never worn them. So, oh, I have to do the reverse on this. So um, <laughs> these are so good. These are really good. Okay, fresh. I took them out of there. They were in their original separate plastic bags from Robert Lee Morris, um, you know, from the packaging. And I... I took them out of their original separate bags to show them to you. Look at them. And then watch what happens when I turn them. Oops. See that? They're actually kind of flat. They're not total cylindrical, you know, like they're not rounded. They, they're spirals, but they have this flat front. So they're perfect near the face. They're so wonderful. These are wonderful. Here, I'll show them to you in front of the, so you can really see. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's great. See, see how they're, look at that design. 
You see that? They're like a spiral, but they have that flat front. So they hang perfectly on the body. That is Robert Lee Morris all the way. So nice. Hi, Marilyn. Thank you for being here. Look, look, they even look good with like the lace. So, so nice. I'm going to show them to you with the, um, over the gray next. Ooh, but not, to, not break my bill. There, there they are over the gray. These are the door prizes coming up soon. We're going to have the first one. See the side view, the back view. Barb is at 80. Oh, these are so wonderful. Oh, I'm glad you're getting them too because I've had them long enough and, you know, it's time. You know, I this is a good discipline for me also to let go of things. See that? Yeah, these are so pretty. So pretty. And then after these... Um, we are going to be doing the Malachite and Tiger Eye uh, chandelier earrings, and then we're going to do the um, giveaway right before we do the three cat ring, which I know other people have been asking about. So start making sure um, once this bidding is over right now, Barb is at 90. So once, um, oh, Martha, yeah, I know. We are going to be, I'm going to be making a series out of that. We are going to be doing favorite things, you know, people's, uh, because everyone's a collector, right? So I want to have guests. And if you're willing to come on, you can show your favorites from your collection. Um, Kelly B is at 95. And I think that'll be so fun, right? Because I know what some of us have in our collections and I loved seeing Carla's things. Carla's taste is so modernist. You know, every single thing she showed was brutalist. If you guys haven't seen it, I'm going to put the link to it up here. So you can here up here so you can see that video. It's a great video. Um, and it was so many things that Carla has collected over the years. And I'm um, sorry if you can hear me slurping. That's not attractive. <laughs> I'm in California. So got to keep hydrated. Um, yeah, these are so great. It's a fun idea. Sunday. Oh, totally fun, fun, fun idea. Yes. And if you have a shop, you know, it's also a way for me to share the audience with you so that the audience can find out about you. I mean, that wasn't lost on me. I think that's great. I think we have to um, support each other. And, um, you know, I don't know how to explain it. It's like the bigger we get, the more there is for everybody. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, if you buy earrings from me, then you're not buying them from somewhere else. Or if you're watching a video from Carla, then you're not watching here. Like it's not competitive and it's not like that because we are such a specific group of collectors and sellers and sellers and collectors. Um, then and it just is a net plus for everyone, you know? So there you go. That's my soapbox for the day. Here they are. Nice close-up, fresh, new. They don't have a fingerprint on them, Kelly. They're so nice. They are so nice. So Kelly is at 105. So let's call it um, uh, going once. And abundance breeds abundance. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, let me get these off the um, thing. Okay. Go in twice. Yeah. You know, I, I was telling Carr the other day that I could have learned to cook. I didn't learn to cook. I, I took all my time and I studied uh, all the jewelry things. I used to look at patent. I used to Google the patent office in 1944 in the middle of the night. I am not kidding you. I actually did that. Um, fair warning. Just learned the FW fair warning going twice. 
And we're going to call it kindness brings kindness. Yes, we're going to call it sold. Sold to Kelly B. And let's see. We're going to put that there. And now let's do the first giveaway. And I'm not sure which one I should do first. You tell me. Um, let's see. In the chat box, you can vote. Do you want it to be here? Let me move this. Yeah, you're going to love them, Kelly. Um, you're going to love them. So do you want it to be this kind of like 80s torsade faux pearl? We're doing the giveaway now. This is the first door prize. So do you want it to be this? Or do you want the first door prize to be this carved mother of pearl? This is gorgeous. I did Google this. They can sell for actually quite a bit. Um, they were also calling them white abalone. But to me, that is just hand carved mother of pearl. Yvonne, hey, you're in just in time for the first door prize. And then there is that. And that is not a magnetic clasp. So I don't know what it is. Um, but this is the first. OK, so we are going to do this is the first door prize. So we're going to give it a minute. We're going to let the door prize. Um, we're going to let the chat box catch up. Everybody to be entered into the door prize. The way that it works is I do like a, you get the wheel of the chat box spinning. And then I randomly without looking. I have to go to it first. Hopefully my sound is down. Okay. All right. I have to go to my. Crypto. Oops. Just learning about it. Sorry about that. I have to go to my own chat box. And then there it is. Okay, so get that all spinning. Yep, send a heart, send a flower, send a Sindra. Oh, you don't have YouTube. Okay, we'll figure that out. Um, good, get it spinning. And then just a little bit more because it's still a little delayed for me. And then once I see my speed start picking up, I'm just going to pick someone random. All right, it's going now. And the random person is... Barb O'Donnell. <laughs> I'm going to show it to you right there. Can't wait. Let me find it. Oh, it went away. It did. It definitely said Barb O'Donnell. Okay. So Barb O'Donnell wins. Next time I'll keep my finger on it so you guys can see it. But you know, you've seen me do that before. So Barb O'Donnell, you are the winner of the first door prize. So congratulations. And um, okay, Pamela, Pamela Nobles, you are, um, it says register. Perfect. You are in. So that was the first door prize. Let me make sure that I put this with um, Barb's things. I have a bag here. I have a Barb bag. And then the next thing is the chandelier earrings. Oop, let me move this back. The chandelier earrings. I think you're gonna. I think you're gonna like these too. I like these. I really love everything I picked. They're also wearable today. They're all so pretty. You know, they're just kind of that keepsake feeling. Like you know, the keepsake. <laughs> Susan's in the house. Okay, Susan. <laughs> I am so glad you're here. Um, Susan, everyone, check out Susan um, if you like. Very intelligent comedy. She's very smart. She's a smart one. She talks about how smart her husband is, but I think she's the smart one in the family. Okay, so let's see. And I know she's laughing right now. So coming up, yay for Barb. Okay, the Malachite and, oh God, you guys are gonna love these. These are so good. These are, look at these. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe these. Okay, malachite, tiger eye, briolette drops, different color pearls. There's gray pearls and green pearls. These are all different quartz stones in here. And then look at the quality of the tiger eye. And then the shape of them 
is so great. These, I think these are like the 1980s version of um, Etruscan revival. And then look, look at how they're constructed. These all hang. So these move, these all hang from this almost, it's almost like a toggle clasp side and, but it has these stations. So they draped the, um, the dangles from it. Look, there's tiny, tiny tiger eyes at the bottom here. And then this large tiger eye, I'm going to put them on the clear and, um, the clear holder. Oh, here it is. It's clear. So I lose it. <laughs> and Angela, JPGR is in for 45. I'm going to put them on through the actual holes. So <laughs> I want. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're doing $5 increments, Mimi. So the next one is 50. Um, Angela's in at 45. Definitely worth it, 50 as well. Look, there you go. Really shows how freaking gorgeous these are. So gorgeous. And then look at the malachite and the size of them. You know, and these are not flimsy either. either. These are all soldered, all, look, there's the back. Oh, you can't see it. Okay, I'm going to hold it up like this. Oh, I can hold it up with my ear. I mean, my ear, my hand. There you go. See, for size. Isn't that nice? Aren't these so beautiful, the colors? Look. I know. These are so good. These are so good. All right. So... Mimi's in at 50. Let's keep it moving. We're going to say going once. Up, uh, oh, Kim's in at 55. Okay. You know what I just realized? <laughs> Live and learn. I don't have to make such long notes. I can use the item number. <laughs> You know, like the on the list, I can use the number on the list. Um, that's funny. Okay, I'm going to show it to you in front of there. So you can really see. And I love the size of these. Mina, okay, you sent an email. Okay, let me double check that. Because thank you for saying that, Mina, because I still have it open from the giveaway from the door prize. And yep, got it. You are in. Thank you. Um, go back to these. Yep, you are in. Yeah, these are gorgeous, Marilyn. You should see them again. These are again, these are so much better in person. Can you see the, the tiger eye is absolutely just so nice. It's like, it's just really nice. I, I don't know how else to say it. Like they picked every single beautiful bead and Kim is at 55. Oh, there. Ta-da. Ta-da. I can do it. <laughs> And we're going to say going once for the uh, number 11. And I'll say hi from Ireland. Wow, Mina Muna. I love your name, Mina Muna. Mina Muna. See, to me, it sounds like I hear it in my head. Anyway, <laughs> going twice <laughs> and sold to Kim. So let's put these there. Oh, and I'm ring, I will ring the bell. Sold to my friend Kim. 
<laughs> oh, it's your dog saying, that's so cute. That is so cute. Okay, now, number 12. A lot, have you, a lot, a lot, a lot of you have been wanting to see this ring and wondering about this ring. This is a brutalist ring. And when you first look at it, it just looks like brutalist, you know, that kind of uh, mid-century thing. But then when you look at it a little closer, it suddenly becomes three cats. And this is like a little sculpture. It is perfectly done. It is signed with the artist's signature and the date, 1985. And it says Sterling or 925, I can't remember. So it's fully hallmarked. I did test it. Um, I did find similar, not exactly this, but I found similar kind of art. Um, and it is art starting at around $200. So I thought I would start it today at 160 and it's okay. Oh, thank you, Christina. You have a great night too. Um, <laughs> perfect. Yeah. So it's okay. I'm starting it at 160. It's okay if nobody bids. I just wanted to give you all a chance um, before I put it on the website. And we're going to do that. I did see them. Really, they started at 200 online and just went up. But there was nothing like this. This is, of course, a one of a kind. But there were similar rings um, done in sterling, uh, also artist made. Um, I think this is nicer than those. But uh, because it's so brutalist. You know, here, I'll show it to you on so you can get an idea. Oh, <laughs> you visited the U.S. in 1985. Yeah, are you? <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Look, there's the height of it next to the garnet. So not too high in reality, even though it looks high. Um, yeah, hello to Norway. So you can see it's actually just the height of a regular ring. Um, so it's very comfortable to wear. And it is three cats or three lionesses. Um, oh, 160. It's starting at 160. Um, I'm going to put it on the black um, holder here. I never did find the artist. It has the hallmark on the inside, the initials. There, you can really see the cats now. Aren't they lovely? Oh, the size. Thank you for asking. The size is, U.S. six, maybe a little bit over a six. It's probably a tiny bit over a six. So, hello. So there they are. See the see the tail. This is so amazing. Look at it. That one's kind of up on its hind legs. And then you can see his face from this side. This is very fine. And then this guy's tail right here. And you can see something in his paws. And then this one here. There he is going around to the back, the one in the middle. And... Look at that. And even though it's so brutalist, like it takes a minute, it's one of those very clever things like where you just think it's like a brutalist, um, modernist kind of ring. And then you give it a second look and you can see there's something going on in there. God, I'm already regretting selling this. Did we not have any bids? Maybe. Oh, no bids. No bids at 160. Okay. So that... <laughs> That is staying with me for a little while. All right. And now the diamond slide. And this is the same thing. This I've had in my family. This was a this was given to me by someone in my family. This is 10 karat gold and baguette diamonds. And it is number 13. And it is, I, if I remember correctly, it is half a carat. I unfortunately couldn't look it up. I used to have records. But I moved so many times that I didn't, I don't have the records anymore. So it's either half a carat or one carat. The baguettes are pretty big. And those are baguette diamonds. And it is 10 carat gold. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> 
And we're starting this at 200. There's the hallmarking right there. There are the big diamonds from the back. And you guys have two minutes. If anybody is interested in, you know, you didn't know you needed a baguette diamond slide when you woke up this morning, but maybe circumstances have changed. <laughs> And now we need one. And what I like about this is you could also put this on like a velvet cord or you could hang it like that from a chain or you could, you know, the collar, the Omega collar. Actually, I have this Sajen collar coming up. Let me show you. I have this. This is one of my favorite things in the auction right here. These are super rare. This is signed Sajen. So you could put it on something like that. You know, one of those flat gold collars or those collars that are reversible, silver and gold. Oh, on pearls. Yeah, because it's big. Ooh. Yes, Barb. Look, you can really see the diamonds there. And again, this is just my window light. Here, I'll try and get them close up. The baguettes. See, no spaces in between. That's all channel set baguettes. So nice. And there's about a minute left. So if no one's bidding, don't worry. We're only going to be on this for another minute. And then next time you see me, if no one bids, I'll be wearing it on pearls. Because <laughs> I'm shameless that way. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And then we are moving on to page two. Oh, the Swarovski door knockers are coming up next. So these are almost out of time. And these are coming up next. All right, so those are passed. And look at these. Drool, <laughs> yeah. These are signed with this one. These are, there, there, there it is right there. These are circa 1980. These are new mint condition. They made these in two sizes and these are the larger size. And we are starting them at 55. And Barb is in for 55. I'm going to put them on the thing. The clear. I'm sending one of these to Adrian, guys, because these are so good. There. Mint. So beautiful. And see what I mean by kind of like classy, you know, tasteful, kind of well-dressed, you know, and these are, I don't know. And do they still make them this good? I guess they do. Swarovski's quality has held out, but I just feel like these are better somehow. I'm going to try and show them to you up close so you can really see. They have such, they're so, you can't tell. They're so nice. Maybe if I hold them farther, they just spark. Yeah, you can see it there. They're amazing. These are so nice. And they're hinged. They're very comfortable. They're perfectly weighted. See that nice hinge? I'll show you the full back. There's the Swarovski Swan. It has, they even have their original, these are mint condition new. They even have their original um, backs with a Swarovski uh, kind of insignia on it. You know, it says Swarovski on the earring backs. Oh, there. Now you can see. No, you still can't. They're so much better in person. So Barb's in at 55. And if we have no other bids, we are going to call it first call going once. Yeah. I, you know, I agree with you, Carla. I feel like. For Swarovski, they still have the boutique and the stuff in the boutique can get pretty big. Um, and if you've ever been, like I went to the Swarovski boutique in uh, a casino in Reno and it was so cool. Cause it's like you walk in and the whole room is black and the cases are black. And then there's just these halogen lights like beaming down onto each thing in the case, you know? But I feel like, I didn't see anything. It was either like small little cute things or like giant, giant things, you know? And I think these are just forever. I think these are forever. What do you guys think? I think that you can wear these when you're 80. I think you can wear these when you're 20. 
Oh, or at the airports. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to be traveling soon. Oh, that reminds me. That's the thing I didn't say in the beginning. Um, I'm going to be announcing the giveaway when I'm in New York. So um, once again, you can still enter. Um, and I will um, put the link up here if I haven't done that already. Watch that. It's only like a minute and a half to explain the giveaway. And it's a good one. I'm giving away gift certificates to the store and Facebook memberships, uh, membership to the group for one month. So now that, I, uh, okay, where are we? Barb's at 55 and we are going to say fair warning. Classics. That's the good word. Thanks, Marilyn. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Classics. They're classics and the store will repair. Yep. Yep. Okay. So going twice and sold to Barb. Uh, okay. And um, for, and that was 14. Okay. And now, okay, the scab, scab, scarab bracelet is not this one. I wore this one because I wanted to show you mine. And this is also a uh, gold filled scarab. Um, but the one that we are have up today, you're going to like this one. Now, I know you guys have seen it, but, in, you know, there are versions of this out there. But I feel like this one's really nice because it has some of the... Um, semi-transparent stones. They're not all opaque. There's a little, this little link is stuck. Hold on. Here, I'll show it to you like that. There you go. It has the writing on the back. It's onyx, rose quartz. Look, that's like a green agate or onyx and it's a uh, semi-transparent tiger eye, lapis and carnelian. And they're all carved scarabs. And it's gold filled and it is hallmarked and it's old. I'm trying to get it untwisted. Hold on. Oh, it's really like, there it goes. Okay. Okay. Ta-da. Now I want it so that all the backs here, I'll do it like that. That's all the fronts. Nope. Anyway, this is what it looks like on. That's a double. This is a single. There, that's all the fronts. So I'll show you the scarabs. Black onyx, or actually, I think that's obsidian. Uh, rhodochrosite. Green onyx, tiger eye, really nice tiger eye. Uh, that's actually a lapis and then carnelian and then the back. Oh, and then I don't know where you are, Karen X. Look, I love the rhodochrosite one. I think the rhodochrosite and the green is my favorite. I love how you can see the light through the green and Jane is at 65. Oh, and I didn't show you the class. It's a good class. This is all Hallmark gold filled. Heavily hallmarked, and then there's the links, and then there's the clasp, and the clasp is the same as this, which makes it easy to put on. I'm going to show you. See how the ring is soldered? I don't know if you can see that. This is stiff. It, the ring that you put the spring ring through is soldered in which is pretty typical for these bracelets, but it makes it really easy to put on. <laughs> Rainbow gel. No, they're beautiful. This is, and this is a classic Marilyn. Again, here, I'll put it next to this one. See? I know, it's gorgeous. Karen, email me, cause I know, I don't know where you are, but I know that I've sent things without um, too much trouble to uh, Australia, Germany, New Zealand, England, um, Africa. So, you know, I don't know where you are, 
But um, unless maybe you're in like Dubai or something like that um, or South Korea, but I think that you could probably be okay. Um, there you go. Oh, the length. Thank you for asking. The length is the classic colors. Yeah. Oh, you're in England. Oh, you'll be fine. They're small. They're really small. And I, I, um, I fill out the, uh, the customs myself. I'm small. I'm a small little, you know, I curate these tiny, tiny collections. Okay. The, it is um, seven and a half inches without the clasp. The clasp actually does make it eight inches. So there's plenty of room here. You could wear up to it. You could have up to uh, an eight inch wrist, like, because then it would fit you the way this one fits if you have an eight inch wrist, which I love. This is, if I'm wearing bracelets now, this is how I wear them because they don't get in the way. And I think they look cool. So, oh, the lapis looks like lavender. You know, it does, but it looked like lapis until just now. Like upstairs and in my office and every other time I've ever looked at it, it looked like lapis. But now that you mention it, ooh, lavender jade. All right, well, someone's already bid. Jade's already bid $65, so there you go. <laughs> That's great. And the rhodochrosite is unusual too. I will say that there are some unusual things in here. So if it's lavender jade, great, because you don't often see the obsidian or the rhodochrosite either. It doesn't look like lapis, I know. Hmm, hmm. Interesting. Here, did you see these? Did I show you those? Look at that. It's a nice one. It's old, circa 1960s. We're going to call it going once. And I'm going to start writing it out. And it is number 15 for Jane. And do we have, we have a Jane bag already? Hello. <laughs> Going twice. And the chalcedony can come in at green. Yes, I agree. That's true. I agree with that. Yeah. And we are going to say it's at going twice. You have one or you'd have to bid. Fair warning. And dun, 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 sold. To Jane, enjoy, enjoy. Um, okay, next up we have, oh, the lapis Lieberback goddess earrings. Okay, I call them goddess earrings. And we're almost done, guys. There's just a few more, and then we're doing the second door prize. Look at these. Okay, these are lapis. Oh, there you go. That's lapis. Aren't these a great shape? Don't you love these? And what's great about these is the lever back. Really nice lever back. Very sturdy. Fully hallmarked. Lovely. Um, I would put these at circa 1980. Vintage. Nice weight. Nice balance. Again, total classics. There they are from the side. See how nice the dome is. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, guys. Oh, my God. You guys are the best. What an amazing group. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> Elizabeth. Thank you for arranging, you know, Sammy. Both of you. Thank you so much. Both of you. It's like second shift. Okay. Um, Flabber. I'm, I'm gobstopped is the word by how wonderful you guys are. Okay. So anyway, so these are starting at 30, which is great. Um, they are a beautiful size. There, these are. There is no left and right. They're very symmetrical. They have a really nice balance. They almost have like an Art Nouveau quality. Um, I'm going to show you up close and then turn them around so you can really see. And again, this is just in my window light. You can see the reflection of the trees there on the earring holder. Aren't they pretty? It's just regular normal room light. And then from the side, from the back, delightful, gobsmacked. 
You got it. I am gobsmacked by how wonderful everyone is here. Um, thank you so much to the moderators. Jane is at 45. <sighs> there they are next to a person. Here they are in front of the pink. So you can really see. the blue in front of the pink. And, oh, I'm getting hungry. And um, coming up next are some of the purses behind me. And then I thought it would be fun. I'm doing a book and a scarf from Laurel Birch because I just wanted to see if it was, you know, see what you guys think about it. I think it's a fun idea. Um, it's not jewelry, you know, but it's useful. And we're all collectors here. So there's those. Jeans at 45. Let's say going once. Let's see if Mimi, give Mimi a chance. There's the back again. There they are. So pretty, so very pretty. And let me start writing it down. Oh, did you really, Marilyn? <laughs> are you in California? <laughs> See, look at them. There they are together. They're lovely. These are great. Going twice to Jane. And these are number 16. And uh, what are they, 45? I think, yeah, 45. Okay, going twice. <laughs> yeah, through the rectangle and sold to Jane. Full bell. Okay. Yes. No, Kelly Wilson, you got it. Okay, just email me later because it's hard for me. I'm getting better at it, actually, I've noticed today, but usually it's very hard for me to multitask. So those are sold to Jane. Um, and I'm going to put them in the Jane bag. That's my Jane. There it is. Oh, no, that's a different Jane. Is it? Yeah, different Jane. Okay, so let's make a new bag. Figure it out later. And I <laughs> really want, you sound like me. That's what I sound like when I watch Adrian's auctions. Sometimes I'm like, uh, me want, me want. Okay. So next up is the, the bags. So let me put this down. I have to like weave my way out of my, my situation here. You're going to like these bags. I'm very excited about these bags for you. And if you guys aren't into them today, that's totally fine. I will put them up on the website. The first one is the Coach Bucket. You can Google right now, Bucket Legacy, Coach Bucket Legacy. I wanted this so bad when it first came out. I was like, oh my God, it's an updated bucket. And I had been selling the buckets vintage through my shop. And then when, because the new, the, the new ones are like slimmer, they're not as round. I'm going to show you. And the gold one, in my opinion, is the best. And I'm starting it at hundred. So time to move the chair. You get to see my get up today. My mother's day thing. Okay. Ta-da. That's the back. That's the front. This is mint condition. We're going to, oh, I have to put this up. Okay. So put this back so you guys can see it. So you guys have two minutes if you're interested. In, I know it's an experiment, but look at how great this is. This is the Coach Legacy Bucket Bag. It has the tassels. It's in that beautiful scrumptious gold. It has this still on it. It is like new. It looks great with the linen, you can see. I don't have any black on me today, so it's looking really good. I'm gonna show you the color. You have less than two minutes now to think about it if you're thinking about bidding. There it is, right like that. There's the side buckles. It's Coach. It's like new on the inside. It's in pristine condition. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, no, I know, it's really nice. I put my pink 
in there. Um, and I'll take that out so you can see the inside. And I know if you can see, it's very clean. There's the other side. See, see the pockets? And then there's that. And this is authentic and it has the adjustable here. Now you can really see the shape. See, the original buckets were very round like um, feed bags. And then this is the, what they were calling the, like the heritage, right? The legacy, look, the coach legacy. And I love, I, this is like the best color. I think these and the blues are always my favorite. And we don't have any bids. Uh, so we're moving on. Okay. So the next one up is another coach. And this is vintage, and this is made in New York. This is that like baseball glove shape. Isn't this great? And this even has its original. This you don't you never see them with this. And this I am starting at. Let's start this again. This I am starting at the. Oh, I switched them. Okay, so this is the. Court Slim Body, made in New York, and we're starting this one at 85. This is fantastic. That's a good one. This is a really good one. And, and Elizabeth, you're fantastic, because <laughs> you caught the, that I switched them in order. This has the brass findings, and it is made in New York. There's the inside also. Oh, I don't know if I can get the inside there at all. This is how I keep my bags. Yeah, that doesn't show at all. But I can show you the, this bag is made in New York thing. These are authentic and wearable and usable. And I will definitely put these in my shop if we don't get any bins today. I think it's marvelous. Isn't that great? That's without any stuffing in it. And these, I started them both very reasonable, by the way. So if you guys aren't in the mood, I'm not going to take it personally. Um, let's see. What's next? Oh, the Laurel Birch Scarf and Book. Okay, we're getting right down to the wire here. After the Scarf and Book, we've got uh, like five more jewelry things and another door prize. So, oh, you picked up, oh, two Patricia Nash bags. That's cool. Do you guys know Patricia Moon? I, I love the Patricia Moon bags. Love them. I've had them and sold them. And every single one I sold, I wish I didn't. So, okay. This is what's coming up next. <laughs> and I know this is a bit of a curveball, but I wanted to share. This is, you know, because we're all collectors here, um, Laurel Birch does a lot of jewelry, a lot of collectible jewelry, a lot of cat things. She also made scarves. And so I decided to do the Fantastic Feline book, which is on Amazon for, I think, about $25. Now it's out of print. So it is, you know, you do have to get it um, through secondary market. So I'm including this cat book right there's there they are and then I actually have them in the scarf too so I thought that was really fun oh Barb's in for 35 good and you haven't even seen the scarf yet wait until you see the scarf oh okay this is silk like they don't make them anymore rolled edge look at that it's <laughs> it's the one that's in the back of the book Oh, that doesn't show. Okay, I'm gonna try and get it up close. There they there. You can really see them. Oh yeah, Yvonne, definitely. Um, Yvonne, you got it. First bid, vintage coach for 85. That is the uh the blue one, right? Um blue coach, Yvonne. For 85. Okay. You were in the shower. <laughs> I love the cat emoji. Everybody put a cat emoji in. I'm going to put this up here for you, Yvonne. 
Yes. Okay. You're going to love it. You're going to really, really love it. You're going to come back for the gold one. Um, I want to try and show you the edge. See that? That's the hand rolled silk edge. This is lovely scrumptious silk. You guys know what these are. I don't have to tell you what they are. Oh, the cattail. How cute is that? Um, and then, I don't know. There's so many in here that I love. Susan. Yeah. Look, look at these. Look at them. And this is real vintage. This is real collectory. It's in perfect condition. Oh, Thelma, we're doing increments of five only, but thank you for being here. I was going to write you an email earlier. I, Thelma, I want to do a favorites video with you because I know that you need to do, not need, I know that you want to do more um, edited um, pre recorded videos. So let's do one. Let's do a favorites with your collection. Yeah. Okay. Um, and <laughs> I, I'm totally off track now. I don't know where I am. Barb, who's bid what? We are at $5 bid increments. Everyone's putting the cats in. I'm going to try and fold this so you can really see better. There we are. And it comes with a book. Ta-da! Like, I know these guys are in this car. Okay, Barb's at 35. All right. Hi. What's the next bid? The next bid is 40. Oh, oh, yes. And Thelma, I know that you collect the same rings that I collect. How fun is that? So I would love, love, love to do a favorites video with you on your channel, you know, for you, your content. Um, Thelma's at 40. <laughs> but Farmer Donald is meowing 45. And it says Laurel Birch, Bur Laurel Birch, fantastic felines. There it is. There's the inside, and it's a great, oh, there she is. That's her, and it's a great reference. It's actually, you know, if you are a collector seller, it's a really good reference to have, and that's why I had it, but I thought I wanted to try something new with the scarf and the book, so I pretty much made it up. I just made up the opening bid because there was nothing like that that I'd ever seen before. Um, yeah, won't that be fun, Thelma? Oh my God, it's going to be so much fun. And we can do it while I'm away. We can do it. Um, I'm going to be on the East Coast between um, uh, like the 13th and the 23rd or something like that. So not those are not the exact dates, but we can figure it out. So see the hearts. And I think we're going to call it going once. You used to collect all things cats, and now you collect jewelry. Okay. Oh, Thelma's at 50. All right. <laughs> I'm going to sit back down again. <laughs> Get rid of that. Put this back over here. And I'll put this here. This. Okay, Barb's at 55. We can move this. There we are. The book of cats and the out. Enjoy, Barb. And the scarf of cats. Oh, and I never showed this. This, just so you can see. I know you guys know what it is. I don't have to tell you. I know what it is. Yeah, I know you, I know that you know what it is. Okay, so um, we'll put that there and I'm gonna put this in your section, Barb, hold on. And that is number 19, Barb. Okay, and now, okay, um, oh, yeah, sold. Great one's going twice sold. 
<laughs> sold to Barb. <laughs> Put that post-it right on it. Now get ready because the next thing coming up is really special. And it's a larger size. So whoever thinks they need a larger size, this is a this is a larger size ring. This is this could be for you. Um, and I did start it very reasonable, even though I started it at 100. It is really reasonable. Wait until you see it. And you'll understand. Here it is right here. That's it. Two minutes because we're starting it at 100. So we'll have two minutes to see if there's going to be a bid. There's going to be a bid. There it is. Three opals, lovely design. This has, again, that uh, modernist. The size is, it is a size, it's a little bit bigger than an eight. So it could be an eight because it's a wide band. Look how wide it is. And the artist, uh, it is sign, it's not Paz. It's not, uh, it's just, uh, I know it's Israel. Um, it's a size eight. And I can't remember now. Let me see if I see it there. Oh, maybe it just says Israel 925. It might just say Israel 925 and nothing else. I don't remember. But it reminds me of Gerda Flockinger, uh, Thelma. Thelma, look up Gerda Flockinger. You are going to love it. You are going to love what you see. Um, a British modernist designer um, in the museum. In, um, and not in the museum. In some special group, um, you know, like appointed by the queen or something like that. I don't know. So anyway, there it is. It's huge. It's a big ring. It's too big for me. It's a size eight. Yeah, Game of Thrones. And it's almost where if we don't have a bid, this is almost out. So if you're interested now, you know, it is $100 for the first bid. Um, there it is from the side. There it is from the back. It's a heavy sterling silver. Lovely. And we have no bids. So moving on. The next one is, oh, okay, this. This is very rare. This is Sajin. This is their twisted uh, cable wire. It's sterling. It's signed. I'm going to try and get you the signature. It's very clearly marked Sajin. Right there. Can you see that? There it is. And Sajin 925 right there. So, and then this is the clasp. Look at that. So you can fit anything on it. And the pendant is not Sajin, but I'm putting it with it. This is sterling and white halite. And this is exquisite. This is all multi-twisted sterling cable. This is so nice. And these are rare. These, these are super rare. Did, they did not make a lot of these. Um, and it's in perfect condition. And we're gonna start the clock. <sighs> and I'm going to show you the back of the pendant. There that is. And that's also 925 in white halite. And I'm going to hold it up so you can see for scale. Oh, let me put it on the gray. I'm going to put it on the gray. And then after this, we just have a couple more things. And then it's the next door prize. And that's it. Just 25 things today. Where'd everybody go? Am I stalling? Let me say something. Hi, no, it's in there. All right. And there's that. There. Beautiful. This is wonderful. There's the clasp. See? Look, I even like it like that. I mean, there's so many things you can do with this. Treasure. Hi, Treasure. Treasure, you. I'm so not surprised. Uh, yeah. It's going to be, it's, yeah. This is really, this is a good one. 
And so you're still here. Okay, thank you. Look, I like wearing this. I wish I had noticed this before because I think this is a fantastic way to wear this. Yeah, if you collect sage and you might, this is really, and then you can put it on here too. See, because this is smooth, you can really do a lot with this. It'll it'll take a lot of pendants. Um, treasure is it? Look, I like it like that too. Look how cool that looks. That's so. Oh, this is. I wish. No, it's better that I didn't see it like this. If I had seen this before I put it up for auction, I would have kept it. <laughs> So it's because look at how amazing that is. That is like art, right? I'm going to get the green one back. And maybe, maybe, <laughs> well, I know you guys understand. We, we all have that in us, don't we? Um, you know, you think you're going to, uh, you're finally ready to part with something and then you see it or think of a different way to wear it. And you're like, oh, maybe I'll just keep it a little bit more. Um. That's the back, that's the front, that's the clasp, solid sterling, signature. Oh, I think the signature is on this side, hold up. Let me close this all the way, okay. Oh, I don't know where it went. All right, we're gonna say going ones for treasure. And, <laughs> oh yeah, it's like getting your house all ready to sell. <laughs> yes, right, and then you're like, oh, maybe uh, maybe I'll keep it, right? Who remembers that she'll love it or list it? You know, you could always tell like the people that uh, were gonna keep it. Oh, it's here somewhere, I showed it to you before. Going twice to treasure. And this is treasure. And that's why you can't part with anything. I know. But if you want to collect, you have to be able to part with things too. And sold. Fair warning. Sold to treasure. You're going to love it. You are going to love it. I'm going to put this in here, a bag for you. And then just a couple more things. Okay, the Judith Jack. I started this at 75. Super, super reasonable. Use this. And wait until you see this. This is a really good one. This, just the chain the Judith Jack chain. It's a three strand. Okay, that's the pendant. This is the chain. This is the clasp. That's the hallmark. Right there. Wait, can I get it? Hold on. There. See, JJ in the diamond, old hallmark. 95, that's the chain. The pendant comes off. This is the pendant. This is classic Art Deco style. The square mark is I and the CZ. And I want you to see these square mark is I. These are like um, the pyramid shapes. See? like the studs that Hermes uses. There's the round and the pyramid. This was really, really um, expensive back in its day. This was not an inexpensive one. <laughs> Elizabeth, me, 75, okay. There you go. And yeah, and again, just the chain, just the chain could be 75. It's three strand. I'm trying to get it so I can show you the clasp better. There. See? Look how beautiful. So freaking beautiful. There it is from the side. Um, going once. 
Yeah, it is beautiful. Oh, I'm going to hold it up. Oh, my chair is so far away. That's what it is. I'm like, what's going on? My chair. I have to pull it forward. Anyone for 80? Mimi is in for 80. There. And then I'm going to show it to you from the side. See, look. Lots of room. Oh, I never showed you the back. Oh, my God. Okay, this is so important. Look at these hallmarks. Look at that. Like new. Sterling JJ. Right. It's there. So nice. Such a lovely, well-made, delightful, classic, elegant. Here it is. Trying to get it close up. The chain is great. The chain has a really nice weight to it. This is sturdy. This is super nicely well-made, beautifully done. If you are familiar at all with Judith Jack, then you know that that is quality. Um, Polly, can you do the last three items for Don? I'm on. Oh my God. That's incredible. Elizabeth, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Susan, yeah. So, and Susan, we're going to do a favorites. I don't know if you saw me say that, but we're going to do it together. You can be a guest on the channel and we can do your favorites. Okay. So I totally forgot where we were. Thank you so much, um, Elizabeth. Okay. So Sammy is at, oh no, Mimi is at 80. So we'll say going once for Mimi. And... Anybody else going twice? And sold <laughs> to Mimi. Thank you, Mimi. Mimi, you're going to love this. You are going to love it. I promise you. It's such a nice, everything is so nice today. Every single thing is just really, really nice. It's just good stuff. So, um, yep, sold. Then be ready for huge 80s earrings. I'll be ready. Oh my God, your favorite. Yes, 80s earrings. Yes. Yes, Susan, we're going to do it. Maybe we can do it while I'm away. Um, you know, uh, alternate location. You could be a guest. We could do a split screen. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so excited. Email me. Okay. So soul to Mimi for $80. And everybody check out Susan Cupcake Jones. She's hysterical. Um, Google her. She's so funny. Um and now just a couple more things. We got the two bracelets and you're welcome, Mimi. You're going to love it. And the two bracelets. And the first one is the Anatoly. So this one's the second one that's Boulder Oval. And look at that big mauve pearl and that's silver. And then this is the first one. I love this one. This is a signed Anatoly. Hi, Beth. You're here just in time. We're finishing up and then we're going to do the door prize. There's the um, Hallmark 925 Anatoly. And this is kind of like a brutalist, almost like an antique coin um, thing. And it is actually set in there in the highly polished silver. So that's like a patinaed silver and it's set in the highly polished. And then these are hinged. And this is more double strands. You can see I was, or triple strands. You can see what mood I was in when I was putting this auction together. And then this is the clasp. Look at that detail. Look at this. This is quality. These sell for hundreds and hundreds. There's another Hallmark right there. Anatoly 925. I love this screw detail just just for looks on the top of that. This is a beautiful clasp closure, very strong, very sturdy. Um, I'm gonna show you how it works. Watch, watch this. If I can get it on camera. Oops, I don't know if I can. If 
I just look at that and not the screen, I can do it. No, I cannot. Okay, I'll do it this way. The other original way. Hi, Crystal. Okay, and oh, let's start this. And this sells for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds online. And I started it for 85. I just clasped it again. I couldn't do it in front of the camera. Um, but look how gorgeous. Oh, and I'll put it on this. And I should measure it, actually. Let me measure it. Um, it's super heavy. This is like a heavy, heavy 925. But don't buy it for that. Buy it because you love it. Because, the, you know, it's very heavy and therefore valuable. But also it's signed. Um, and you don't want to get it just for the weight of it. Um, this is seven and a quarter inches long. And that's what it looks like on the wrist. Look how beautiful. This looks very expensive. This has that, um, can't think of it. There's a boutique in New York. It begins with an H. This has that kind of look, doesn't it? And almost run out. So if no bids, we'll move on. That's, that's, there's that. That's the back. Ah, too small. Oh, Kathy's in for, oh, Kathy's in for 90. Oops. Ah. Okay. There it is on the holder. So you can really see it. Oh, look at that. You can really see now how it's like this brutalist thing in this highly polished. And then I will show you the clasp. See that detail like that. And then here's the underside. See, is it upside down? It's upside down, hold on. There we are. See, really beautifully made. I'm gonna try and show it to you from the side too. Oh, and this is irrelevant because we have 90 now. There, see the side, look. So pretty. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's speed things up. Kathy is at 90, going once. Going once for Kathy. Here it is on the wrist. Another thing about this is it's actually easy to get on yourself because of the style of the clasp. It is heavy. Oh, it's heavy. This is heavy. But I don't want to, I mean, it's very heavy. It's not like a little heavy. This is like, heavy. It's a lot of silver, but don't buy it for that um, because it's the design of it that is so beautiful. Um, you know, it's extremely nice. You guys are, whoever gets this is going to be thrilled. Kathy is at 90. So it looks like it's going to be Kathy. Um, this is 23. And we got going twice. And Make a little, make a bag for Kathy. And sold. <laughs> and now it's time for the Boulder Opal. And then we have the twin necklaces and the door prize. Um, I'm wearing it. Yes. I, I love it. I know. And I dressed every the whole outfit i dressed the entire outfit around this brooch today i'm not ashamed to admit here let me show you in case you haven't seen it um i have this like linen dress with these little like puff sleeves and this lace blouse isn't that cute <laughs> okay the boulder opal and mobby pearl here we are and this has and then like like a black patina almost. It's so nice. It has the big heavy weave, um, wheat chains, box clasp. There's that. There's the uh, Hallmark. I don't know who made this, but I love it. 
I love the height. To me, this looks like something you would get um, when traveling, you know, like in, uh, what's that port where they sell the Tanzanite? Somebody tell me, you know, it looks like that, right? Or it came in, there's the back, there's the back of the pearls, beautiful. You can see the back of the Boulder Oval there. And we started this at 85 and it is, Kelly's in for 85. Does anybody remember what I'm talking about? Where is it that they sell the, the Tanzanites? Um, you know, that port when you get off the ships. Oh, I can't remember. This is seven and a half exactly, seven and a half inches. So it's chunky. Oh, treasure is at 90. Yeah. Oh, it's this is even heavier. This is enormously heavy. This, yeah, Tanzania. Thank you. <laughs> that's not what I was thinking of, but yeah, that's one of them. <laughs> oh, there's another one where like all the Americans go and they're on vacation and the ships stop there, and it's not Mexico and it's not Jamaica and I don't know what it is. So treasures at a hundred. Look at the pearl. The pearl alone. You could have this Mabe Pearl Pendant for $100. And then there's the smaller ones and the Boulder Opals and the Wheat Chains. Oh, Opals. I love Opals too. Um, Yvonne's at 95. Look at that. That's the clasp. I'll clasp it for you. There's the... Uh, the homework right there. And it's a beautiful box clasp. Again, just super nice. Here, let's see if you can get it to click. If you can hear it. I don't know if you could hear that. Anyway, it has a nice click. And gorgeous. Yvonne's at 105. Port of Prince. Yes, around there somewhere. Thank you. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Look how heavy. Can you tell how heavy it is? It's so heavy. So very heavy. And after this, we just have the two turquoise necklaces over there. And then the, the last giveaway. And I feel like I want to do something else for the giveaway as well as that. I wonder if I have anything. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? You guys are going to love this. See, this is why we stay until the end. And to thank everybody for staying. Oh, Anna. Um, Treasure is at 110. So, but as the for the final giveaway, um, this was passed. So I'm gonna give this away. I'm gonna make this the final giveaway with this. How about that? That's gonna be the final door prize. <laughs> okay, so it looks like Yvonne got it. St. Thomas, St. Thomas, yes, that's it. Um, St. Thomas, yes. Why couldn't I think of that? Um, oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, 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 okay. So going once uh, for, uh, who is it? It's a treasure, right? I think it's a treasure. Yep. Treasure going once. And, oh, we are at, actually, Anna, we are at 110. So if you, we'll give you a minute. Maybe you're lagging. Um, sorry, treasure. I just don't want anyone to be upset. So, um, you know, it's at, it's at 115, Anna, if you want to bid that. And uh, 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 no, okay. Croy, St. Croy. Yep. Okay. So back to going one, going twice. All right. I'm just going to let Sammy Joe do it. Look at them. Love the door prizes. Yes. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you very much for being here. Um, and I think it's, uh, oh, I better write it down. Treasure. Treasure. 110. And this is number 24. Laramar. Yeah, I love Laramar. Did you know that Laramar, Laramar can fade? You have to keep it out of the sun. 
Congrats, Ivan. Don't, yeah, she's hysterical. She's so smart. Susan is so, so Susan Cupcake Jones in house so far. So smart. <laughs> uh, oh, Maria's at 120. Okay. Next time, Maria, we're gonna we're going to, and now Anna's in at 115. We might have, we must have been lagging. Um, I'm sorry, but we're gonna honor treasure. Treasure got the treasure because it just it, it just, you know, we just had to move on. So I apologize for that. Treasure, you can be happy. You got a, a good bargain there um for <laughs> for 110. And um and now the final thing are just these fun two turquoise necklaces. I will get them. Yeah, I think it's lagging. Okay. I'm sorry about that. So look at this. I got these um, from, I only bought like two or three jewelry jars in my whole life. And I got these out of the jewelry jar and they're new and they match and they're dyed Howlite and they're really pretty. Um, and I thought that I would use these for the friend it forwards that I do on the website, but they're heavy and they add a lot of weight to send, um, you know, as a friend it forward, which is basically a gift. So I thought it would be great to end the auction with these. And um, they're both, you get two, if you're interested for $25, the first bid is $25, right? And they're fun. And actually that's how I would wear them because they have an adjustable chain. I would wear one shorter and one longer like that. I think that's really like, that's the way to wear these. And um, we'll start. Everyone has two minutes if they want to bid on these. And Marilyn's in for 25. And then we're going to do the new upgraded giveaway with the cross. Because no one bid on it earlier. Um, we are going to, um, so Marilyn's at 25. Next bid is going to be 30 for these. Okay, Ava's in 30. Yeah, cool idea, right? Um, I feel like. That's a beautiful door prize. I was going to sell it for 30, but since no one bid on it, why not, right? And Barb is out. Marilyn Blatt is at 35. That's the back of the door prize. It's really well made. This is fun. You guys are getting rewarded for staying with me today because um, I just upgraded the door prize. See, they're so cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we'll say going once to Marilyn. Maybe we'll give it a minute because of the lag. We'll just give it a minute. The necklace, it is, oh, the giveaway is a, it's a bracelet. It's this little CZ and rose gold over sterling um, bolo bracelet. It's really lovely. Whoever gets it's gonna be very happy with that. See? It's really nice quality. Look at the back. Um, oh, you're welcome, Bonnie. So these two, do, and we're still, we, la, la, la. I'm just going to let Sammy Jo, Sammy Jo do her thing. <laughs> um, and it's, uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, I'll put it on the neck for you. That would be great, wouldn't it? Let's put it on the neck. Ta-da. Now you can really see. And then there's the back. There. That's what the back looks like. Super great. All right. Yep, you're going to love them. Yeah, you can make a choker out of them. You could do whatever. I mean, I really like wearing them. Like I said, I would wear them layered, you know, kind of like offset and layered like that. I think that's spectacular. Um, 
So going once, 35. And I'm going to get it ready. And that is number 25. Marilyn. Oh, they're wood. It's uh, it's wood and dyed howlite. And something else is in there too, which is this. I don't know what this is. This is, um, it could be some kind of stone, but we'll call it glass, right? This is definitely dyed howlite and wood and these are i love that these are the all different sizes this is very much um like hsn desert trading you know that kind of thing um it is not dyed bone it is dyed howlite oh this is not dyed bone this it's um oh god i don't know it's clear it's it's uh it's not opaque these are definitely wood um, we'll call it glass, you know, it could be some kind of carnelian or something, but, uh, but these are great. Listen, listen to it. Let's see if we can hear this. Yeah. Dyed halolite. Holly. Hi. Good to see you today. We're just finishing up. You're just in time for the door prize. Um, hope everybody had a great mother's day. Yvonne is at 40 brown glass. Yeah, we'll just call it brown glass. It's glass, wood, and uh, dyed howlite. And this is actually on, this This you can get off. These move. This is um, the bale for this howlite disc is just a wood and glass ring. See how that moves? So you can get these off. You can be really creative with this. You could have a lot of fun with these. So there's a lot of different things you could do. Um, and I'm selling both of them for one bid, one price, and that is $45 right now. Marilyn's at 45. And, oh, let me hold it up. It was fun, Hollywood. You you can, Holly, I should just say, look, see how pretty these are? And I love how the, this is kind of interspersed. Everything was really nice today. There was nothing that wasn't nice. Yeah, $50 for both is still really great with, you know, free shipping because it's over 45 now. So that's really good because these are heavy to ship. Yep, yep. Wonderful. There's the, here, look at that. So nice. Quality, very nice. I'll show it to you on the pink. <laughs> there it is on the pink. Oh, you're welcome, Lizzie. Peace. Peace to you too as well. And it looks like um, it's going to Yvonne for 50. So we'll do the going once, going twice. You have four sisters? I didn't know that. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, they can take turns. You know, you can, there's two here. We have going once. And I'm going to get Yvonne's thing ready. I don't know. I'm just going to use another bed. And fair warning. And Looks like the door prize is about to happen. Sold. Yay, sold to Yvonne. Okay, door prize time for the door prize. We're doing something really fun and special. We are doing the original door prize. So you get this 1980s faux pearl torsade that you can wear a multiple of ways. And you also get the first thing on the list today, which is this rose gold over sterling NCZ cross. So I'm gonna show it to you up close. So if you wanna be entered in this drawing for this door prize, that was the final bell, that's it. You know what to do. Put in flowers and hearts and happy faces and all positive and happy, good vibe things. 
And oh, I love the daisies. I love the double hearts. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. So, um, and then once I see that start moving, I am going to pick a winner randomly from look at it on the black. If I had done that, I probably would have sold it. <laughs> that looks look now you can really see how nice that is. Okay. That we are giving it away to say thank you to everyone for being here. And it's really spinning up now. So just keep it going because I have to get have time to get to my channel. And All right, it's moving now. All right, so not looking. And the winner is Jane Litterick. Right there, Jane Litterick. You win. You win both of these. That's the door prize. Yay. <laughs> Let me make a note of that. Thank you, everyone. Door prize two with bracelet. Thank you everyone for being here today. I really loved it. I had so much fun today with you guys and um, I will see you again soon. Um, again, happy Mother's Day to all the moms and see you next time. Thanks. Bye.